Hi, Leo. Welcome to your general forecast for the end of March. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you. So, Leo, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. Could be love, could be general work, career finance, could be anything. We're just going to take it as it comes. So, this uh, may or may not resonate. So, please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. Could be past, present, or future. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If it's not your story, if it's not fitting for you, please don't try to make it fit hold out for future readings or um, in the description box you can find past readings links to your uh, love and general readings are below as well as the decks I'm using social media links how to reach out for a personal reading if you like tip donate send a gift all that info is below in the description box as well as the pin top comment if you're not comfortable um, donating through PayPal uh, during the super, uh, during the premiere only super chat is open so if you'd like to tip or Donate Exchange Energy during the premiere during uh, Super Chat that is available at that time. All right, so Leo, let's see what's going on for you at this time, Spirit. Please, thank you so much. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or a planet. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. And then with this deck here, we'll pull an opening message for you. And then another card for your energy, bottom of the deck, Tarot. We will clarify all that energy and then whatever the situation is. Look at that situation, advice, possible outcome. Get some extra messages for you with the healing fairies. And then this is sort of like uh, new cards I bought actually at the Dollar Tree. And they're sort of like prayer cards, but you could call them affirmation cards also. So I'll pull one of those for you at the end also. All right, Leo. Let's see, Leo. What do we have for Leo Spirit, please? With this deck, thank you so much for Leo at this time. Oh, we have Libra. So we have Libra. So you could be dealing with the Libra. If not, totally fine. Could be friend, family, co-worker, lover, um, or someone rising Venus or Jupiter, or it could be in your chart. Or the Libra does represent, the Libra card does represent the justice card in the tarot. So some of you could be getting justice, serving justice, things balancing out. You see the scales there. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. Leo. All right, so Leo, let's get an opening message for you, Leo, at this time for Leo. Spirit, please, what is their opening message <clears throat> at this time? And I just want to say that I did just get over having the flu a few weeks back, but I still do have a lingering cough and some congestion. So if I do cough a little bit through the reading, I'm apologizing ahead of time. So please be understanding and patient. Any negative co uh, comments will be deleted. All right, so let's get an opening message for Leo. And that's three, that's too many. Opening message for Leo, please. Thank you so much. Opening message for Leo. Let's take that one. So we have the two of Michael, the two of swords. It will be better if you just make a decision. Overanalyzing a problem, overanalyzing a problem, find a compromise. So this is about two of swords. There may be a decision here you may need have may uh, need to make or have to make, and you may be indecisive here or overanalyzing it. But it's time here to just make a decision of some kind. And I see like two forces coming together, so there may be an indecision here about things coming together of some kind or about um, justice coming in or is things balancing out. So let's see, let's get your energy. What is Leo's energy at this time, Spirit, please? What is Leo's energy at this time? Thank you so much. And there we go. I knew there was gonna be a flyer. Oh, there's two here. I'm gonna take the top one. Well, you know what? <laughs> wow, look at this. We have the Ace of Cups. No, wait a minute. This is no. This is the Ace of Pentacles. Sorry. So we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a brand new beginning here. It says it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or promotion. So this is some sort of stable new beginning coming in here or a solid offer of some kind coming in. And then we have the nine of Ariel. This is wishes and dreams coming true. 
um, no, this is a nine of cups. I don't even know why I'm thinking of the nine of cups. So anyway, this is the nine of Ariel, the nine of pentacles. Your dreams are fulfilled. Well, yeah, that's exactly what it says here. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. So this is being single, independent, uh, can't take care of yourself, having everything you need, being successful and abundant. And it starts with this new opportunity, this new long-term offer or new direction which leads you to be very successful, independent, stable, grounded, and pros prosperous here. Ace to the nine, almost at the ten. I was only going to take one, and then I looked, and like, whoa, it's both pentacles. So this could have to do with career, job, finance. It could be about love, but there could be a new opportunity coming into you that you may be indecisive about. Will this lead me to the nine of pentacles? Will it lead me to being successful and abundant and successful? Did I say it twice? I'm sorry. But yes, yes, it will. But for some reason, you may be indecisive about that. And this is here to tell you, yes, you have the rainbow there for luck. And look at this, it's telling you at the bottom, to take a leap of faith. Archangel Metatron, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. This is starting, new beginning, starting at zero, jumping in with both feet and taking that leap of faith to this new beginning, the ace of pentacle and to the nine but you're indecisive leo why are you decisive about this solid stable new beginning <coughs> that may be coming in for you or you may have this opportunity that you're trying to decide upon here and this is telling you to take this leap to trust that this will lead you to being very, very abundant and successful. All your wishes and dreams, hard work paying off, dreams coming true. Wow, like waving that flag of victory. All right, so I want to say thank you to all who have uh, supported me in the channel in any way. Thank you, thank you. In honor of reaching 10,000 subscribers, I am having a giveaway. If you are interested in the giveaway, you will win a tarot deck along with a free 20-minute min reading of your choice by me. So if you're interested in participating in that, in the giveaway, check the description box along with the pin top comment on how to enter to open through March. So um, if you do, good luck and thank you. All right. Why is the Ace of Ariel here and the Nine of Ariel, which is Pentacles, for Leo? Why are they indecisive about this, about this leap of faith? Why? Let's clarify for Leo, please, Spirit so much okay something did flip here we got two so we have the page of swords and we have temperance so we have page of swords could be uh, maybe you were doing uh, research online or applying for different opportunities online the page of swords can be all about online communication um, learning you know learning things online that kind of energy so i feel like you could have been learning uh or applying for things online and all of a sudden something comes in but then you're like a little scared and decides geez i don't know but temperance is here to say this is divinely guided for you this is about balancing uh tempering your energy this is healing uh kind of energy patient patient kind of energy so i feel like you've been patiently waiting for something here and then it comes in and you're, now you're scared of it like a oh, geez I don't know so you're trying to balance out your energies here with this energy and not sure if you should venture because she looks like she's going on a new venture you're not sure if you want to venture into this now all right so what do we have here so the ten of cups and the knight of pentacles so this will lead you to ho total happiness, joy, success, victory, happy home and family kind of energy fulfilled in every single way. Knight of Pentacles. So it was slow moving. You know, maybe you have been researching or applying for a very long time. It was very, very slow moving. So maybe you were almost at the point of giving up. But this would enable you to move forward with a lot of uh, stability, um, being grounded kind of energy, stable energy. You can st you can move forward to your ten of pen ten of cups energy in a very stable way.
but I think, again, you're unsure. You're unsure. All right, so a couple more. A couple more for you, Leo. Why are they unsure? What is this energy about? Page of Wands. So here's a good news coming in. Fiery, passionate communication or just sort of some sort of good news coming in. So the good news comes in. Hey, we have this offer for you, this brand new beginning that will lead you to your success, victory, being independent, to your Ten of Cups of being fulfilled in every way, to move forward a lot of stability and prosperity. But you're still indecisive. The overall energy there is, or this is telling you, uh, your opening message here is to just make, yeah, it's just to make this decision here. Because look, now we have the Queen of Pentacles. So somebody who's very secure, stable and grounded, independent, nurturing, caring, giving, uh, has prosperity and wealth. Could be a business owner. It could be somebody good with finances. It could be... Um, Somebody wealthy, somebody who takes care of their coins, who is now has the offer, but just looking at it like, you know, geez, I don't know, studying it, analyzing it. Because it does say overanalyzing there. So I feel like you're overanalyzing this order, uh, offer. Don't know if you should move forward with it, so you're taking your time here. But it will lead you to fulfillment and this new beginning if you take the sleep of faith. And balance it will balance out your energies with the uh, Libra getting the justice you deserve, or you could be dealing with the Libra around you in some way. All right, so let's get the actual situation. This is all the energy you're in right now, but let's see the actual situation for you. The Hierophant, so this is commitment, um, kind of energy, it's about spirituality and faith. It's about doing what's moral, just, and right. It's about um, <clears throat> being committed to something. So let's see what else here. We have the Seven of Swords. So yeah, this is it's like you want to run away from this. You're not sure if you want to commit to this new opportunity. So it's almost like you're in the energy of turning away and running from it because you're scared about making this decision for some reason all right so you know in the higher we talk about institutions and learning and things of that nature also all right so what else here for leo yeah you're very conflicted about this with the five of wands very very conflicted about this offer about this new stable offer you have a lot, this could be competition, it could be conflict, inner conflict. Maybe you know there's a lot of competition. Maybe whatever you're thinking of taking on or doing, maybe you know there's a lot of competition in that area and you're not sure if you can live up to the competition. Or you have a lot of inner conflict here about this and you're thinking about just running away from the offer, not accepting it, not sure if you want to commit to it. All right, so... What else here for Leo? Uh, it's way too many. All right, what's this one? Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're really struggling with this. Really, really struggling with this decision about this new opportunity. But <laughs> there's the Ten. Of, I was just thinking we didn't get the Ten of Pentacles because we got the Nine. We got the Ace, the Nine, and the Ten. So this will lead you <coughs> to the Ten of Pentacles, to total wealth, abundance, success, victory, um, long-term abundance. It usually sp speaks of a marriage card also. Um, but, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is having it all and not having to worry. For some of you, it could be, um, we, I mean, we do have the Ten of Cups here. That's the only cup card. So I'm not really, you know, in the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles usually speak of marriage also. So this could also be about being indecisive about someone coming in and finally offering something stable, like a long-term commitment or something like that, or even marriage, but you're still unsure. 
whether you want to accept their proposal of some kind or this new job opportunity. It's like, oh, you have this all this conflicting energy here. Like, it's a struggle for me to decide whether or not I want to commit to this or do I run away from it because I'm so conflicted about it. So I see a lot of conflict on whether or not to accept this either love offer or new job or career opportunity. So let's see what your advice is. Knight of Wands. So this is your, this is your energy, Leo Sagittarius. So this is your advice is to move forward a lot of drive and passion, passion, ambition, go-getter kind of energy. Just, just go after it. <laughs> Knight of Wands goes after what they want. All right, so what else for the advice for Leo? Magician, so there's your brand new beginning, manifesting it, making it happen. So this is telling you to go after it and make it happen. That's what I'm getting. Go after this, manifest it, and make it happen. This magician with a brand new beginning. You can manifest this. You can make it happen. Okay, let's see. Didn't really ask it. Don't feel comfortable taking that. So what else for the advice for Leo, for Leo, for Leo? A couple more for the advice for Leo in this situation, whether it's career or love, being indecisive about the solid offer coming in for the long term. And there's a travel action communication, fiery communication, taking action. This is telling you to take action, to go after it and make it happen. That's what it's telling me, Leo. What else? Get one more. The advice for you, for Leo. Ten of Wands. Okay, this just come out and now here it is again. So this is burning you down heavily about this decision, about going after this, making it happen. It's weighing you down. You're not sure what to do. You, like you can't see the path clearly. This man can't even see. Man or woman doesn't matter. Can't even see where they're going. But if they just throw down the burdens, what's weighing them down? They could see the path clearly. So even though you may be stuck in your head about this and scared, maybe just fear and being scared of this is what's weighing you down. So if it's your fear, your stress, your worry, anxiety, not seeing the path clearly, what if it doesn't work out, blah, 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 all that negative thinking and overanalyzing, laying down that burden and just taking action to manifest this and just go after it it's right here for you <clears throat> so if you go after this what will be the outcome will leo go after this or will they not so we have the page of cups so this is um it can be about love communication or it can be apologies but we do have the two of cups so now we have union of some kind so some of you this will be this love offer and soulmate union, some of you will be this offer coming in with the page of cups that is sincere. And maybe, you know, this new opportunity, they are offering it to more than one person. And maybe that's what you're worried about, that if you accept it, maybe, you know, you won't be granted this new opportunity anyway. So maybe some of you are thinking about just turning your back on it because you're thinking, well, I'm not going to get it anyway. But you don't know that because we do have the two of cups. So whatever is being offered to you, I think you will come into union with, whether it's a soulmate or this new job or career opportunity of some kind. If you just make the decision to go after it and stop overanalyzing it. One more for the possible outcome for Leo in this situation. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. King of Pentacles. Yeah, king or queen. So you will be king or queen of your domain. You'll be making your pentacles. You'll be stable, sturdy, and grounded. Um, wealthy. Look at all the coins at his feet there. So you'll be wealthy, abundant, prosperous, successful. So the outcome here is if you accept this offer, or this communication comes in, you accept it. You come into union with this, whatever it is for you. It will lead you to the king or queen of pentacles, whatever it is for you. So being successful, making your coin, or having abundance either in a new relationship or a new commitment of some kind, or this new career opportunity 
here because you have the nine of pentacles which is that very successful independent energy and being the king or queen of pentacles also so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck knight of cups so moving forward with in the energy of love compassion peace harmony or moving forward in love or moving forward in loving what you're doing seven of pentacles so you're wondering and waiting should i invest should i invest in this analyzing assessing it and waiting you could you're waiting <laughs> to move forward in this again analyzing but here you are leo strength courage determination bravery willpower taming that beast that all that negative energy from within and all that juggling energy and indecisiveness and getting in your power king or queen of wands and going after what you want a lot of drive ambition and passion even though you can't see the path clearly with the moon energy, you know, being a little um, indecisive about that because you can't see and it's keeping you hung up, keeping things still stagnant about this. But we do have some of you here will soulmate union with someone. So like I said, it could be a career or a job opportunity or a soulmate, but this is soulmate union. So whatever is aligned for you coming in this offer is a soulmate energy for you so it could be you know a career i guess could be a soulmate energy something you're totally aligned with maybe something you've wanted to do since childhood reconnecting with people places and things from your childhood or past life energy and then once you accept this if you choose to this will move forward very very quickly coming in fast so but i still see you here thinking assessing and analyzing this energy here and stressed stressed <laughs> but uh and wondering you know if it doesn't work out it just comes to an abrupt end but we do have the four ones so for some of you this is soulmate twin flame union um commitment marriage um stability in the home life stability overall and having this new career opportunity for some of you will lead you to this very stable home life because after that we have the sun so success victory Every single way, happiness, joy, enlightenment, healing, every everything positive with the sun that is your energy. And there you are on the bottom with the Queen of Wands. So we had the King of Wands come out, and now the Queen. So some of you, this is definitely is a soulmate. And we do have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So we have like a power couple here. Some of you are coming into union with your soulmate twin flame, and you will be a power couple together. Some of you will be totally in line with what you are meant to do in life, and you're scared of it. And afraid to take that leap but this is meant for you to take get in your queen of wands energy and be that emperor or empress wow so i could keep going here so i'm going to stop there so we have we have aries we have libra gemini aquarius let's see we have your energy with leo leo sag aries pisces pisces leo sag aries uh leo Get to Scorpio Pisces. We have Aquarius here, Libra, uh, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus. Uh, let's see here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo. So those are other energies I see. So it's time to decide, Leo. Time to decide on this. All right. To take that leap of faith. So let's get some extra messages from this for you, Leo. I do ask Leo, especially if you're new. Please check out my channel. You like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Right now, I do about four or five readings a month for every sign. To love, to general, and a bonus. But I may be switching that up. But if you head on over to my community tab, I have two polls there. I would like everybody to participate in. It'll give me better clarity on what kind of readings you would like to see per month. And also, I have been thinking about doing extendeds on Vimeo. So if you would go over and vote, it would be greatly appreciated. If you do, thank you. All right. So Leo. Leo. Let's get some extra messages for Leo here. Parenting and children. So some of you um, coming into a soulmate twin flame union here. The king and queen of pentacles can be parents. So some of you will have a family and children because the ten of pentacles also speaks about family and children and the family dynamic and legacy of a family dynamic. So some of you could be coming in uh, 
together and getting married, having children here with your soulmate twin flame. <coughs> okay, what else for Leo? Any other messages for Leo? We got two here. Beauty. So know that you are beautiful and somebody also sees you as very beautiful and to really look at the beauty of this situation coming in for you because it is meant for you and moving forward fearlessly again move forward fearlessly i have all this energy here of just to take action and manifest this new beginning go after it and make that decision and go forward fearlessly all right let's see anything else for leo let's let's take this one body movement so again taking <laughs> taking action taking movement take action here or some of you need, need to get out move your body more new location some of you may be moving maybe you may have to move either to be with this person or uh, for this new career or job opportunity some of you may um, have to actually move all right, so Leo, let's get a closing message from this deck, prayer, affirmation, whatever you like to call it. Let's see what these have to say. I thought these were cute. Again, I got them at the dollar store, so I got two and I mixed them together, and I thought it'd be nice to give a little prayer affirmation at the end of the reading. So let's get one for Leo. What is Leo's message? What do we have here? Well, we got two. I guess we'll take them. I've only been taking one, but we have blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. So just know that um, this coming in for you is pure and it's meant for you and it's blessed. And it's divinely guided. With God, all things are possible. So just know anything is possible here, that what you think is not possible or maybe having that indecisive overanalyzing energy just know that this is very possible here what is coming in for you okay leo best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel to always always shine your light